we are here tonight to celebrate the official launch of the Hometown Heroes Service Learning Project. A core part of VVMF's mission is to educate the public and future generations about the war, not just the Vietnam War, but all military conflicts. Through the Hometown Heroes program, we endeavor to help young people understand and be inspired by the call to duty, the willingness to serve, the sense of loyalty and service that our nation's military men and women have demonstrated time and time again throughout our history. I was telling somebody earlier today that most of the time people think of a war like that on a national or international level, but this really brings it more to the local level, to the mother who lost her son, uh, or the father that lost his brother, you know, things like that, and um, I really think that makes it a little bit more real. There is no better opportunity for these kids to show the importance of the sacrifices that these veterans have had and that it's just, just not a name on a wall, and that it's a much greater thing when you put those pictures. And that's exactly what this project does, and I'm glad to be part of it. This is a great challenging project, let there be no doubt. Now, you're gonna run up against administrators saying, well, I don't have no time for this, and somebody, I don't have no time for that. Uh, we've heard that all too often. You make the time to do those things that are important. You take the time to do those things that are important. It's just how it's very real, so it's just not pages in a book, it's a very real aspect of life. Kids generally think that that was a long time ago and it doesn't really apply to them. So we try to do that a number of ways. Uh, I think hometown heroes not just doesn't just indicate guys that were killed, but it also indicates guys that are still there. And I'm really pleased that this curriculum harnesses the potential in schools to bring together generations of family members and neighbors all to learn. Uh, from uh, the Hometown Hero Service Learning Project uh, about the sacrifices of, of those who served, especially those who served in Vietnam. I've learned just recently that how badly they were treated when they came home. The Vietnam veterans, well, we can show that they weren't any of the things that we called them. We, they were just, they were heroes just like all the other veterans that we know. We got to meet some people that were in the Vietnam War and we got to hear all their stories. The kids were very interested in the Vietnam War, just about how it started, three different presidents, how it ended, how the men were received when they came home, and we talked a lot about the media involvement and the perception that we had here in America versus what was really happening, what our presidents were saying, what we were seeing in footage and stuff. This is so real and so tangible, and we still have our Vietnam veterans, so I just think it's, uh, it would be great for them to uh, engage on something like this because I think they'll not only find connection in the classroom, but they'll find connections uh, in their communities. Hometown Heroes has allowed students to really not only dig into history, but really to examine their own communities and their role in memorializing conflicts, which I think was really important. I think it's important for young people to know about the local heroes in our community. And it's been an eye-opener for, for our young people in our community to see how many there actually are out there. But America needs a memory. It's as simple as that. And if we don't inform young people about our democracy, you can't expect them to love it. It makes what's going on today more real for them, too. They understand that there are families involved, not just it's not just a soldier, those soldiers have lives.